Well, hey, a spear wrestling demonstrated by the youth of America. Let's go to Tommy Courier now. Austin, Texas, rides for 7-Eleven Chief. Here in the steer wrestling, you see that barrier flag, very important in all time events. The 10 second penalty can be picked up if they broke it. Oh, what a good snap here, Red, and a fast time. From where I'm sitting, it looks like a 3 5. Oh, what a way to start the steer wrestling off. Now let's go to Dave Brock, one of my neighbors over Springtown, Texas. Seven times he's been to the NFR in calf roping and three times in steer wrestling. A double event, Cowboy. Rides for the Casper outfit. One of the few high school teachers I ever liked, Red. <laughs> and Dave Brock gets a good twist on that steer. A four and three tenths. Now, so far, he's in second place. Of course, anything can happen. Tommy Perrier with a three five and Dave Brock with a four three. We move to Paul Turney, Rapid City, South Dakota, rides for Rodeo America. He's a 1980 world champion all-around cowboy. Here he comes down, slides into position. Look at this. Great snap, Red, on the steer. Perfect. A four flat his time. Well, Bob, that eliminates Dave Brock. We got a 3-5 with Tommy Perrier and a four flat with Paul Turney. Paul Hughes has got his work cut out for him. Kim Colorado Cowboy rides for the Reno outfit. Well, this big tall fella has to be a 3-9 or better to get into the final. Look at here, it's gonna be awful close. The flag is dropped, he's a four flat. Now that's unofficially, it means we have a tie. We'll have to go back to the quarterfinals to decide who goes up for the head-to-head -head competition. Thank you, Pam. As we get ready for steer wrestling, Red, maybe you can explain. We had Paul Tierney and Paul Hughes were both tied when we were in the semifinals. How was that decided who would come into the heads up? Well, they both had four flats, so we had to go back to the quarterfinals to see who had the fastest time. And that individual then advanced to the head-to-head -to -head competition that we're about to see, Paul Tierney and Tommy Perrier. So Paul Hughes was eliminated. That's the way it ended up. This is Tommy Perrier, Austin, Texas, 7-Eleven, Chief. Oh, man, did he set the pace here, Red. A four flat, Bob. That's what the clock says, and it's official. So Paul Tierney better be fast. But remember, he's got to watch the barrier, and he's got to catch the steer fast. He's got to throw him properly. A lot of things can go wrong. He's with Rodeo America. He has to be less than a four flat. Did he do it? Yes, he did. A three seven. Oh, man, is he happy. A perfect run right there by Paul Tierney. He's got to hear that again. Let's see if we get a slow-mo on that from our truck. Well, we do. They just told me. He is four flat. He is second place. They can both do you right now. Watch how smooth he looks for here, Red. Slides into position, plants the feet, comes around, and down. Let's go to Pam in the arena. Paul Tierney is a steer wrestling winner here in Wichita. We saw you win the tournament rodeo in the calf roping at Lexington. Working two events, that make it tough on you? Oh, I think it's uh, I think it's a real challenge to be able to work two events at these rodeos. And uh, I have had some uh, success in the calf roping, and this is the first time for it in steer wrestling. You were the second man to go in the finals. Did that change your game plan, make you put, put a little pressure on you when he was a four flat? It gave me a little slack because both steers have been thrown in 3-5, and I knew when he was four flat that uh, I just had to get me a good start out of the barrier, good catch, and hope it worked out. And it did. Congratulations, Paul Tierney.